All right, so we covered the uh, CSS files, the style sheets that make a web page look how you want it to look. Now let's talk about these scripts. Uh, I have three on this page, uh, Minified JS. Now Minified JS is actually a, uh, a third-party uh, JavaScript library that you can find at minifiedjs.com. There are other JavaScript libraries out there like uh, jQuery, or Node.js. I I, th I think those are a bit overkill for what we want to do here. And when you're streaming, you want to keep things as lightweight as possible. And I think that Minified is one of the most lightweight out there if you want to do animations. Anyway, so I just include the Minified JS. That isn't really much here. We've got uh, it's just gobbledygook. <laughs> uh, I have my global. It's the same thing as the global CSS. It's something I use on all pages. So I've included it here. I'm not really uh, going to explain how all of this works. If uh, you want to uh, look into learning JavaScript yourself, this is an actual programming language. I don't really think HTML <laughs> it could be qualified as a, you know, a, a difficult programming language. JavaScript is a bit more complicated. So I'm just going to say these are the scripts that I use uh, in every page. And... Um, I'll make this available, so if you want to uh, download it, you can. Uh, in fact, you should download it if you're trying to use this tutorial. Uh, but I will go to versus2.js. Now, this is the JavaScript, which is unique to this page. So I'll have, uh, if we look at my, uh, let's see my mainstream stuff I have JavaScript files for each and every different panel I do but we're only showing uh, versus two here so let's just look at that one for a moment and uh, first thing I do is at the top is I define uh, what the output file is now when I click uh, save over here on this versus panel it's actually going to output a uh, we discussed this before, the uh, versus2.xml right here, which is all the information that we have down here in the panel. And uh, I'm just telling it, hey, read from this file. Uh, up speed, I'm telling it, check for updates to this file every five seconds. Uh, make the animations take one second long when coming in and half a second long when going out. So let's say I did this. You'll see it'll take half a second to leave the screen as soon as it starts. There you go, half a second. And then one full second to come back in. Uh, it may not actually have looked like the speed was different on your screen, but it is because of the way the swing works. Oh, that's my phone uh, beeping at me. Let's ignore that. <laughs> I have some variables, which I'll use later. I'll make them global variables so I can access them from function to function. And then I have the uh, declaration that runs as soon as a page loads. First thing it's going to do is check for updates. And then what it's going to do is uh, check for update once every five seconds, which we defined right here. So it's going to check as soon as the page loads and then every five seconds again after that. Now check update is in the global script. It's going to check for update. And it's going to get request, which is another global thing. And within that, it's going to run the get response. And get response, uh, let's go back to um, the XML. There we go. Get response is saying, look in the XML file, which is the response XML. Uh, take the contents of player one, put it in the global variable P1, which we defined before. So it's going to take player one, P1. Player two is P2. Uh, score one. Over here, it's going to put in the variable S1, etc., all the way down for these six variables. And then once that's done in the global, it's going to run run update. Now, run update, this is where the magic happens. This is where all the animation scripting is. Um, everything else, it's you know, it, it is complicated, but you can generally just copy what I did, and it'll work perfectly fine. You may need to change the name of a few variables so it's easier for yourself to read. Uh, but th this is it. This is everything, the run update script. Everything else you can pretty much cut and paste. So what we have here is if we go back to um, 
versus 2 of XML. Let's open that. In versus 2, you'll notice that I gave each of these text fields an ID. S1, S2, P1, P, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's the same name as these variables. Uh, so it's simple. And what I'm going to do is, first thing I'm going to do is run a uh, if statement. Uh, if time old equals time new return. And what this does is, uh, in this XML, there's a time. And if the time in this XML file is equal to the old time in the XML file, it's going to tell itself, okay, there was no update to the script. Let's just exit out and call it a day because there's no animations to run. So, like, even though it checks for updates every five seconds, most of the time it says, no updates, let's move on. Uh, if there is an update, uh, you'll see that this time, which ends with 481 right now, now ends in 019 because the time has changed. And since it's different, the animation runs. Uh, I don't know if it ran. Yes, it ran. Uh, we just weren't watching at the time. Here we go. We'll see the animation run again. And once again, we'll see the time get updated. Okay, so that's simple. Uh, then we have here is if mm, which is the match name, grand finals reset, uh, if the contents of the inner HTML of that field, which uh, by default is match, currently it's grand finals reset, if the contents of that field is not equal to the information we just got from the response file, then mark as updating equals true. Updating equals true basically says an animation is running right now, uh, if an animation is running right now, don't check for updates because we don't want to check for updates in the middle of an animation because then things can get really weird when animations start going over each other. But anyways, if that happens, take the entire top bar, which I have defined right here in the HTML. Take the entire top bar, move it negative 40 pixels from the top, which means it's going to move it off the screen at the out speed of half a second. Then set the contents of the text as the new uh, match name and then animate the top bar back down uh, to the top at zero pixels, which is right at the top of the screen. And then say we're done updating. And so let's uh, do that match name. Let's say this is uh, a money match. You'll see the entire top bar go up. And then the entire top bar comes back down. Whoops. Now, one of the things about this uh, running JavaScript is all four of these if statements you see right here actually all run at the exact same time. Uh, they only don't if you chain them which with these thens I have here. Uh, having these thens will chain them so that they run one after another. Uh, but other than that, they all run at the exact same time. Uh, like I said, you want to learn more about JavaScript, you can read up on it. I recommend going to Minified.js and seeing how it all works. Um, but beyond that, it's, you know, it's JavaScript. All right, so the next line we have P1. It's just like the MM if P1 not equal or P2 not equal. So what I do here is you, I could make it so that if I update uh, change player 1, then only player one changes, but I made it so if either player changes, the entire white area moves up. So if either of them, same process, move up, change contents, move down. Same thing with the scores, change contents, move up, move down. And the game is a bit different because the game is at the bottom. So if they're not equal, I'll tell it move down, then move up. So bottom, negative 40. So it's at negative 40 pixels from the bottom, and then eventually becomes negative 0 from the bottom. And we'll see this. Let's change that to, uh, I guess, Killer Instinct. And we'll see that move down eventually. There it goes. And then it moves right back up. Very simple animations. Uh, I tried to make it as simple as possible because I don't like looking at complicated code, even though I'm the one that writes it. And that's pretty much it when it comes to animating in uh, in HTML. I mean, you can get a bit more complicated with the animations, 
but uh, I like to keep things simple. Uh, you guys, you want to get more complicated with animations, you can try moving beyond minified JS, trying jQuery or Node.js, and seeing that how, how it works out for you. And you can go really crazy with this stuff if you wanted. Uh, but I have simple slide up, slide down. You can do things where text spins and uh, gets larger and smaller, I believe, with my uh, first animation tutorial on uh, OBS Project. Let's... Uh Let's go to resources, your resources. All right, my first animation tutorial, I showed something a bit more complicated. And we can see this. There we go. And see we have animated images in the background. You have the two characters sliding in. And then you have the versus logo appearing. Like this. If you can do it in HTML, you can do it in OBS. Anyways, I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. And peace out.